Hello VC, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm back again with another video. And yes, this is an L a response to a video I saw John Downing do a couple of weeks back on Gimme 10 synth albums. So I thought I would look through my collection and see what I could pick up that was synth related. So here we go. Here's my 10. No particular order. I'm going to first show this album right here. This is New Order and their record Low Life, released in 1985. This is the closest I think New Order really got to good old classic synths. Well, this album and Power Corruption lies, but I thought I'd show off this one, because I, I, I don't really show off this album. So here you go. It's got the tracing paper and everything, of course. But yeah, uh, tracks on here, Love Vigilante is the Perfect Kiss edited version, Subculture the album version, Sooner Than You Think. Uh, you know, tracks like um, This Time of Night, Sunrise, the beautiful Ian Curtis tribute, Elegia, Face Up, yeah, really strong record. Next one is from 1982, and this is Yazoo and their album Upstairs at Eric's. This was this is a really, really good record, origin, um, just, you know, originally released on the Mute label. Cross Alison Moyer and Vince Clark. The, not the last we'll hear of Vince Clark in this video. But yeah, really strong album. Don't Goes on here, Don't Only You, which were the big singles. Two Pieces, Bad Connection, Midnight in My Room, Winter Kills, Bring Your Love Down, Didn't I? Tuesday, Goodbye 70s, Winter Kills. Very atmospheric record. If you think it's going to be like, um, I don't know, Don't Go or whatever, it isn't. You really have to get into it, and it is a really good record, so, yeah. It's different. It's very different, though, so, yeah. At eight, I have Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Yeah, and this is their album, uh, Architecture and Morality. Yeah, classic record on here. You've got such classics as Souvenir, Joan of Arc, and Maid of Orleans. Also got the new Stone Age, She's Leaving, Sealand, Georgia, the title track, Architecture and Morality, the beginning and the end. Really strong album, made, of course, by the original lineup of OMD. And of course, these days it's mainly held by, um, well, it's always sort of held by Andy McCluskey and Paul Humphreys, except for in the 90s when it was just McCluskey on his own. But yeah, strong album. Seven, Erasure and the Innocents. Been listening to this one recently. Of course, Vince Clark again, back in the list, uh, but with vocalist Andy Bell. Yeah, of course, this album's produced by the synth master himself, Stephen Haig. Produced a lot of good old favourites of mine in the 80s. Yeah, this has got the big hits on it, Little Respect and Ship of Fools. Uh, yeah, really good fun pop album from the late 80s. When did this come out? 1988. And it's again on the Mute label. Yeah, really good record. No one from 82, this is the most synth I think this band get. And this is Duran Duran and their album Rio. Yeah, great synth record. I know Duran Duran aren't necessarily a um, full-on synth band, but they definitely were in the in the early part of their era. So I'd sp specifically say this album and the debut album, which I think are great records. And yeah, this album is a classic, fantastic record. I mean... I mean, every track on here. It, it, you know, you've got Rio on here, but you've got you've got my own way. You've got Love Your Nightmare, and of course you've got Hungry Like Hungry Like the Wolf. You've got Hold Back the Rain, New Religion, Last Chance on the Stairway, The Incredible Save a Prayer, Save a Prayer, which has fantastic synths on it, and The Chauffeur, which is an absolute banger. Yeah, great record. At number five, Soft Cell. At number five, I have Soft Cell with Non-Stop Erotic Cabaret, originally released in 1981. Yeah, not 82. I always think it's 82 for some reason. But yeah, Dave Ball and Mark Almond, yeah, give us this, just this very, very weird, yeah, is CD illicit, uh, you know, album. You know, it's got the perfect title, Non-Stop Erotic Cabaret, which is a great title for a record. And the back cover there and all that. Just, it's 
you know, it's it's a bit dodgy. It sounds all dodgy, doesn't it? You know, especially with tracks like Sex Dwarf and CD Films and, you know, Bedsitter. Uh, well, not Bedsitter, but I don't know. And Secret Life, you know, but Tainted Love, great cover. But my favourite track off here is definitely The Closer, my all-time favourite soft, soft Cell song, and that is Say Hello, Wave Goodbye. Beautiful song. Yeah. Number four, I have Depeche Mode, and this is construction time again. I don't have much Depeche Mode in the case of Erasure, you know, not very common. But yeah, great record this is, some great reward. Sorry, construction time again. Of course it's got the good, the big old hit single, which was Everything Counts, but my favourite track off here is probably And Then, but it's got tracks like Shame, Two Minute Warning, The Landscape Is Changing, Told You So, Love In Itself, which was also a single. Yeah, a really good album, and this was the first album to feature the classic four-piece lineup of Dave Garn, Martin Gore, Andy Fletcher, and um, Alan Wilder. So yeah. 1983. Going back to the beginning of the year, 1980, with Visage. Great record, absolute banger. The super group, you know, Steve Strange, Midjur, Billy Curry, John McGough, Rusty Egan, and Dave Formula. Just one of the all time classic synth records. The title track is a, just a classic. Fade to Grey is one of the best singles of the 80s. And yeah, all this album is great. Yeah, all the album is just fantastic, in my opinion. Really strong record. Number two, I've got Ultravox, Major again, and also Billy Curry, and this is Vienna, their first synth album. After three albums, uh, after three albums being a sort of punk kraut rock type act, they became a synth band. Kraut influences on this album, definitely though, I would say. I mean, I know Quart Quartet is more the synthy album. I don't own that album, and Rage in Eden, but again, I only own this one. But this is my favourite Ultravox album, so this is why it's on the list. But yeah, great album on here. You've got New Europeans, Passing Strangers, Sleepwalk, the classic Vienna, which should have got to number one. It finally did a few years ago, I believe. And you've got All Stood Still. Tracks other tracks like Mr. X, Western Pomeromises, New Year, Astra, Astrazyne, and yeah, Private Lives. All oh, great songs on here. Yeah. Classic record. And of course, this was produced by Connie Plank and Ultravox, and Connie Plank was from Noi. Yeah. And at number one, can you guess? Can you, can you guess who's at number one, yeah? Duh. These guys, Pet Shop Boys, and this is actually one of my all-time favourite albums ever. I hope to do a video on this very soon. Don't hold me on that. Maybe we'll see it. Maybe we won't. It depends. But I sure hope to bring it. I love this album. Well, I, I love it. I've, I've heard it. I've known it since I was 10. I had on CD for a long time. And yeah, fell in love with it five years again, five years ago. I, I love it. And that's all I can say. All the songs are amazing off this record. Pet Shop Boys, for either they're my third or second favourite artists of all time. They mean a lot to me. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk more about that in a future video though. Okay. So there we go. Thank you all for watching. Sorry for the if I'm stuttering a bit in this video because it's my first video in about two months. So, yep, it's going up like this. I hope everybody has a good day and a good week or whatever. Hope everyone is doing all right and again keeping well as usual. It's good to, uh, to be back here and filming another video again. And I hope to be back very soon with another video. Until then, stay stay well, stay beautiful, whatever. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching VC, thank you very much, and bye-bye for now.